Welcome to Reanimated Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and we watched Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, and I keep wanting to say survival, but it's not in the title. That kind of rhymes. Yes. So, this is not the first time we've watched this movie, but we definitely wanted to rewatch it. One, because it's a great movie. Two, because we would like to put out a review. The movie does open with uh, one of our friends from... Um, what was that show? Workaholics. Yes. Playing a janitor who is very into an Iggy Azalea song. Black Widow. Amazing. He's working in some kind of biochemical kind of facility. Maybe like a pharmaceutical company. Yeah. Something like that. Some big, large conglomerate. Which he finds an unconscious man with a name tag on his wrist that says Dodd. And he, for some reason, thinks that's his name. Some stuff happens, he accidentally turns off his life support, attempts to give him very bad CPR, <laughs> breaks through his chest wall, in which Dodd unfortunately opens his eyes and tries to eat him. Which then we find out, if you didn't know the title, he is a zombie who is now passing the zombiness on to other people. Then we meet our three heroes, which is Ben, uh, Augie, Augie, and Carter, who are all in the scouts which is run by scout leader Rogers, I think was his name. <laughs> who, has, who has a weird Dolly Parton obsession. Very strong Dolly Parton obsession. They <laughs> unknowingly to Augie want to leave the scouts. Augie's very much into it, but Ben and Carter are over it as they're going to be entering their junior year of high school. You know what that means. If you see the movie, you know what that, <laughs> why I said that. <laughs> um, yeah, they are. They want to get out, but Augie's parents got divorced like a couple of years ago, or his dad, or his dad, his dad left or something. And this is kind of all he's really got got left. And that's the only reason why they've stayed in it. And tonight was he was getting they called the Condor Badge, which I imagine is like the Eagle Scout for like a real boy Boy Scout. God, I'm such a nerd. Um. So yeah. So. They plan on after he gets his condor badge and everything like that, they're going to tell him, like, yo, they're out. But they're the only three people left in this troop. And I'm pretty sure under Boy Scout rules there has to be at least three. So I think once the two of them leave with nobody else coming in, because they do these weird training videos and try to get mm -hmm. people to join and nobody ever, ever joins, um, it's going to end their, like, little, like, troop and stuff like that. And, you know, they're afraid how Augie would take that, so... And unfortunately, the same night of Augie earning his Condor badge, they find out from uh, Carter's sister that there's a big rager going on. There's going to be plenty of girls and all sorts of opportunities that they and are alcohol. really interested in that they would rather be doing than at a going to a, a camp out for scouts. Exactly. So while all of this is going on, of course, the zombie outbreak is happening. And we get to follow this little ragtag group along with Denise, who is a high school dropout who now works at, what was it, Lawrence of Alabia? Lawrence of Alabia. Which is a gentleman's club. She's a cocktail Solid name, waitress. Though. Solid, yeah, but yeah, she got her GED, though. Very cocktail important. waitress. She's like, so, you know. They're what? trying to survive as well as find uh, Carter's sister, whom Ben is in love with, and just get to the safe points. <laughs> Honestly, this is like the second or third time I've watched this movie, and I did not catch that until I looked. I'm like, "What does that sign say?" Didn't I say? Does and that then say she Lawrence blurts it out. <laughs> it just does that say Lords of Alabia? Like that's that's amazing because that's exactly the kind of name, the kind of name. Like I, for real, think that might be a real strip club somewhere. It could somewhere. be. It's gross. Um, so, so we're gonna leave it off here as it is spoiler free. What did you like about this movie? Oh my god, I absolutely loved the inventiveness of the Boy Scouts creating weapons to kill zomb zombies. Like, I don't want to give it away because it's really good stuff. But it was, you can, like, you, and it was so funny because they showed their merit badges that correspond with what they're making to kill the zombies, and I was dying. That, and it's the greatest opening scene in, in any movie ever. You were going to love the first five minutes of this everything from like the dollar bill in the machine and yeah. everything and like he's in the background oh my god that whole opening scene is 
hilarious. Like a black widow, baby. <laughs> and then it gets stuck in your head forever. Oh my god, this movie's just hilarious. I love the like ratio of humor to like actually scary stuff. Mm -hmm. That was really good. There's a lot of comic relief in it. There's a lot of there's a specific encounter with the scouts and one zombie that is hilarious. And you kind of wonder where it's going, and it gets stopped in a way you're not really expecting. I thought... Um, the trampoline scene. The trampoline. There's a whole scene with trampolines, and there's like a heartfelt conversation between <sighs> Ben and Denise, and they're sitting on a bed, and she's like, you need to go after this girl if you really like her, and you need to just be confident. Mm -hmm. And behind them, you just see this head popping up, and you realize there's a trampoline outside the bedroom the window, zombie. and it's a zombie just <laughs> bouncing up and down, and it is so funny. Oh. And the kills. The kills are so good, because we've all seen decapitations or mm -hmm. shooting and everything like that, but never, like, a bottle as we saw it, that was good. The bottle, the kills, the kill in the strip club. That, was amazing. Yeah. So good. That's a concept you wouldn't think about, and then when it happens, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can see that happening. And the effects in this are incredible. We watched, I had gotten the Blu-ray, so we watched a little bit of the behind the scenes, and one of the creature creators was saying, you know, the way that they felt the zombie virus would be spread, it should look more medically in, correct. Like in the blood, in yeah. the blood. So it would be major blood vessels coming up the face and on oh. people that had more skin showing, like the exotic the dancer, yeah. it was, you know, major blood vessels in her legs and the sides of her body and her arms. It and showed that they were infe infected. And what I really loved is when we watched the, the extras on the, on the Blu-ray, because of course we bought this movie. Um, he explained that they went along with the actual veins in their body to make it look like it's like it going travels. through their yeah. going through their body. I love that concept. I thought I thought that was really really smart because he brought it on a very good point. He goes, "We don't have the advantage of having the decay, the fact that this has been going on for years and years, mm -hmm. like Walking Dead was, and a lot of the zombie movies, like oh, the incident happened in years ago. Like no, this incident happened." night and this all happens in one night or one day essentially it all happens in one day into the night so everything's fresh there isn't like rotting flesh coming off of them so you have to show yeah you know there's like the initial wound and then mm -hmm. where it would travel they did really good with the wounds too like the, the wounds looked great so everything looked great there was like no cgi in this there was cgi some of those cgi a dislike with the blood it, the blood splatter you were like oh, oh that's cgi yeah some of the blood but splatter was bad. it wasn't terrible it didn't take me out of the movie i was just kind of like oh cgi because yeah. i mean you know nobody uses bu buckets of blood anymore like death chasm i mean a lot of police pl blah, blah, blah. movies do like yeah. the evil dead remake used a lot they used a of tanker blood. truck full of fake blood which i appreciate <laughs> all right so what did you dislike just the CGI stuff would that I be your I felt like means? the CGI wasn't super great. Another bonus, like, I felt like the um, actors, for them being so young, oh, they yeah. did pull off, you know, really well. I freaking love Cloris Leachman, and she's incredible, she's and I love neighbor. that she's a cat lady, and there are zombie cats in this movie, which the is great. The door scene. There's a scene. If you have a cat, if a cat owns you, and you have multiple cats, or one cat, when you're in the bathroom and their little paws come under the door, there's a scene where they escape and there's just a bunch of like zombie cat paws. Just underneath the door going. It's great. They're, <laughs> they're trying to get them. It's amazing. Um, all right. This, like, I, I agree. The, the blood splatter was bad. Um, other than that, like, I don't, I really liked this movie. Mm -hmm. I thought, I thought this was a solid movie. I didn't even care the fact that it had like that, like little romantic subplot in it between... You know, that didn't bother yada yada. Me too that much. that didn't that didn't bother me. Um, yeah, I really don't have a dislike. My bonus like is the cocktail waitress is a freaking badass. Yeah, she's super. Cool. Like she's the one that like brings them all together. And it's like if it wasn't for her, they probably wouldn't have had all this confidence to go out and fight them and stuff. So I mean, it was pretty cool. I I just I don't know. I really can't think of anything I didn't like about this movie. This was a solid movie. I really did like it. It's not the best movie. It's not Shaun of the Dead. 
but it's honestly the closest I've seen since Shaun of the Dead. Like maybe if it like if it was a little more tipped towards the horror side, like I feel I feel like it was like an even balance between mm-hmm. the horror and the comedy. Usually I like it to be a little tipped more towards like one way, either horror or comedy. But like Shaun of the Dead was tipped a little more towards comedy, not so much towards the gore. I would have really liked it if this would have tipped more towards the gore, and you would have seen, like, just a little bit more. But that's, I mean, that's me splitting hairs. This was a great movie. Mm-hmm. I would definitely suggest this to anybody. What would you rate this movie? i uh, probably about 4.5 out of 5. Like I said, it's not the perfect movie, but it's damn close. The soundtrack's really, soundtrack's really good. awesome. The, the bonus uh, Soldier Boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Who, like, that's everyone's guilty pleasure. Let's be real. I still listen to that song. I'd give this, like, a solid four out of five. I really, really, really like this movie. I love watching this movie. I'm glad I finally own this movie so we can watch it again. And this is, like, the perfect movie if, say, my sister, Zoe, who's not super into very, very gory things and Mm -hmm. she needs that funny element, this is perfect to Mm -hmm. watch with your friends or your family that are like that. And And she loves Shaun of the Dead. She does. So, yeah. Have you guys seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Please let us know in the comments down below. Do you have any suggestions that you think my sister would want to watch with us? <laughs> also, leave those comments down below because we would love to do a video with her soon if she's into that. Yes, we do. Um, if you have not already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can leave a comment, as I said. Like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you like zombie cats or regular cats. <laughs> Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimated, Reanimator. What the hell? Links are in the description, people. They're in the description because I can't talk and I'm Mm -hmm. very tired. Also, you can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their talented creators and wonderful content. I love those guys. You can find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator. You can also find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray, where I post funny stuff and me and my friends do stupid shit on the internet. It's usually quite entertaining. Not very informational, but entertaining. So, Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Yep. Get a merit badge and zombie killing. Woo!